Now that we have our nice dry background, let's talk about our details on our barn. First things first, I have my round brush with some white paint on it, and I'm going to outline all of my windows. This outline can go outside of your windows or inside of your windows. It all depends on how big you made them. And I'm just gonna put a little crossbar in the middle. I'm gonna do that with all three windows. Remembering that my crossbar that's going to be on my last window is going to probably not have the, the vertical bar, the one that goes up and down, because it has fallen off the page. Now for my barn door, I'm going to create a crease in the middle of the door. Outline the door all the way. And then I'm going to add an X. I'm going to cross this one right here. I'm going to add X's in the top. There we go. Got our X's in the top. And then we're ready to add our flowers. So for our flowers, we are going to use our itty bitty baby brush. We are going to add some tall grasses first. So with just straight green on my brush, all the way down here at the basin, I'm actually going to lift my picture up a little bit onto the edge of my easel so that I can get all the way down on this edge. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring straight skinny lines up. Little straight skinny lines straight up. Some of these lines might be what I call ghost lines, where they kind of disappear. All the way across the bottom, as many as I want to add. These would be little tufts of green. As I'm adding these little tufts of green, I'm also going to go in and add a little bit of yellow to it. So I just grabbed a little bit of yellow on my brush. I'm going to add some little just additions of yellow to my green just to make it stand out a little bit. It's springtime. The flowers are going to be bright and so is the grasses. Now for my field out here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some yellow and some white flowers. These are going to be my daffodils. And then I'm going to use the back of my brush. I'm just going to add a couple of little areas, pretty concentrated areas of yellow and white. Come over here and add another little area of white. of yellow too. My house currently has a bunch of daffodils and we are probably in our last week of daffodils. It's going to make me sad to see them leave because my kids keep picking them for me and putting them on the countertop and I love seeing them. Make this a really big patch of daffodils right here. Now you can add some purple in there if you want to have some crocuses or some red if you want to have some tulips. It's really going to be up to you how many or how few flowers you have. Now I'm a big fan of making things an odd number. So right now I've got four sets. I need to add a fifth set in so that I know that I'm not doing things in an even number. 
your eyes way more interested in things when it's done in odd numbers. And I can even throw some yellow daffodils in here with these white ones. And vice versa, I could throw some white ones in with my yellow ones and just have that major concentration of the yellow or white. All right, so now we're gonna look at our base down here. We are going to create some poppies. And poppies are really pretty red flowers. You might even think of them as being almost like daffodils. They, they have like a swoop at the bottom and they're very fun, easy painting. Oh, look at this, I got some red up there. I don't even know how that happened. They're very fun, easy, flowers to paint. So right along my fence line, I'm going to make a bunch of letter U shapes. It's kind of filled in. Now these letter U's are going to be at different levels, so I don't want them all to be the same, and they're allowed to be slightly messy. Now if you want to think about these as being tulips instead of poppies, it's easy. Just add extra colors. You don't have to just do red. And poppies come in lots of colors, but people think of them well, I think they do. I always just think about poppies as red. I think they're just red. I'm just going to lay some poppies in here. Again, if I wanted these to be tulips, all I would have to do is add a couple more colors and I would have some tulips. Now, poppies are pretty tall flowers. I had some in my last house and they were pretty tall off the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Better add one more. Maybe a lower one. Oh, and do you see what I did? All of these right here are all high, so I'm going to actually make two more. I'm going to make some lower ones over here because I have to have a variation in height. Otherwise, it drives me crazy. Now that I have my poppies in, now I'm going to make some daisies. Daisies are my favorite flowers. So I'm just going to start by taking... A little bit of yellow on the very tip of my brush and I'm going to make these a little bit lower in the playing field. Some might even be almost touching the bottom. And some can be a little bit higher but some of them are going to be down really low. Let's see, add one more right over here. Now this is going to be the center of my daisy. So for my daisy petals I'm going to grab white and I'm going to just make some small circles. You could do this with the back of an eraser or your paintbrush. Um, I might actually even switch to my bigger brush because it's got a nice bigger base to it. And I can make some dots with my bigger brush. Make my daisies. I have a couple of uh, petals around them. Now you can keep adding flowers to this as many as you want. It's the best thing about flowers. Just keep adding them in. But this is our very last step of our farm fence with flower picture. So as soon as you have all of your flowers finished, you're gonna sign it. I always sign my name with just my initials in my bottom right corner. You as the artist need to decide for you how you're going to sign your name. So now that I'm done, I'm going to, I think I'm going to add my name in red. Right down here in the corner, I'm just going to put my initials in red and say that I'm finished. Thanks for joining me again, guys. Have a great night.